Seven, you want to really just quickly see the five guys that just barely missed the cut? Yeah, before you show us that, how hard was it choosing between 10 and 11? 10 and 11 was tough, especially when you see who it is. But at the end of the day, we can show 11, uh, Ryan. 11 was Dan, was, uh, Dan Bailey, and I had to put Josh ahead of him because Dan never beat him at the games. But Dan's resume was pretty good, 5 for 5 in top 10 finishes in the five years he competed there. But he didn't make the podium, and he never beat the guy that was in 10th, so I had to leave him off. And then right behind him, we had a couple of legends in the sport. Uh, Graham Holdenberg, the 2010 champion, comes in at 12th. Matt Chan comes in at 13. Um, Miko Salo, I had at 14. Ooh, then, that's going to make some people happy. There you go, Brian. And then uh, Cole Sager, 15. Cole Sager is actually set to compete in his eighth CrossFit Games this year as well. Um, so he certainly still has some potential to climb in these rankings. But those are the five guys I just barely missed. If Cole, let's say Cole wins the games this year, would he break into your? Uh, oh. Would he break into your top 10? <laughs> I was showing all of them. Oh, this is great, actually. Yeah, if Cole wins the mm. games, I think he. I think Travis be a Mayer, good number twenty-two. I love it. Oh my God, look at that! And Maliolo showed up. Look at that! You just saw Hobart, little steam come off of Hobart. <laughs> Deadlifting, like he, he had a way better individual crew than me, though. Yeah, oh yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Wow, Logan! I don't even know who Logan Collins is, and he made the list. That's amazing. Josh yes. Everett, twenty-seven. I'm loving this. <clears throat> Yeah, we'll just scroll through to 35 here, and I, I you know. Oh, Jeremy Thiel, 29. That's so good. <laughs> There's some old school oh, wait, guys Pat, on here. <laughs> yeah, what well, Chad McKay so low? Let me go back to Chad McKay real quick. Number 31. There was a year where he was winning. He was in first place, and he injured himself. And man, he looked dominant that year. Was that the man. burden run year? I can't remember, but I, I thought he was going to win the games that year before his injury. Yeah. He was crushing yeah. it. No, no. These guys are all good. That's what I'm saying. Like, even when you get down into the 30s, there's some impressive resumes here. The manimal. Holy cow. You're telling me that Pat Barber made your list and not James Hobart? That's not a dig at Pat, but come on, man. I don't know. Pat had a pretty good individual career. He had two top 10 finishes. Yeah. (laughs) All right. The original champ, 33. OPT. You'll like this next one. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. My boy, Lucas Parker. And then only went down to 35. I stopped there. Ah, Stonehenge. He's awesome. He's a legend. Yep, for sure. And it's It's cool to look at that because you can see, like, obviously there's a ton of incredibly talented and fit guys on that list. And, um, you know, it just gives a little bit more credence and merit to the guys that did end up making the top 10, I think. Ben Stoneberg, probably fewer Instagram followers than anyone who ever graced the field at the CrossFit Games. And yet he's still in the top 35. I love it. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. We're going to take a small pee break, and uh, we will come back shortly with the um, top 10 women um, of all time in the history of CrossFit. And uh, like I said, um, please excuse us with Brian's audio when we put up the final rendition of this. The audio will be clean. And on that note, Ryan, can we take a small break?